basketball and movies integrate drama, inspirational stories, and high stakes in a seamless way. Hollywood's adoration of these tales has given rise to enduring sports movies. In today's video, we will discuss the 12 best basketball movies of all time. Team that changed the game forever. Coach Haskins is starting five black players, a first in NCAA championship history. Thank you for keeping us together. At number 12, we have the movie Glory Road, another college sports drama. This film is based on a true story about the events leading up to the 1966 NCAA championship. Don Haskins, portrayed by Josh Lucas, was the men's basketball coach at Texas Western at the time. Despite limited funding, he pushed to recruit the very best players regardless of race, forming a team primarily composed of black athletes, a groundbreaking move for its time. As the team notches victory after victory, they must also confront the growing hostility from racist fans, players, and parents. It's about heart. It's about who can go out there and play the hardest. They're not going to give us anything. So you got to go out there and you got to take it. Glory Road depicts the team's journey of overcoming immense societal hurdles with an unwavering passion for the game that will leave you emotionally moved in more ways than one. Finding Frister. Punch the keys! It's whether it's too good. Yes! He wrote it. He's a basketball player. At number 11, we have the movie Finding Frister. This film follows the story of a young, talented writer from a disadvantaged background who forms an unlikely friendship with a reclusive, famous author. The plot centers around 16-year-old Jamal Wallace, an exceptionally gifted student living in the Bronx. Despite his academic potential, Jamal dedicates time to playing basketball games with his friends in the neighborhood, catching the attention of an elderly man who watches from his window. After a dare leads Jamal to the old man's apartment. Are you challenging me, Mr. Wallace? Not any more than you challenge Coleridge. Well, perhaps the challenge should have been directed elsewhere. He's challenged to write an essay as punishment. With the guidance of the author, he discovers his own voice and navigates the challenges of personal and societal expectations. He got game. When will you? Never. Oh. I bet he can finally beat you. One on one. And this will be the most important decision in your life. At number 10, we have the movie He Got Game. Jake, portrayed by Denzel Washington, is serving time in prison when the governor grants him temporary parole to persuade his basketball star son Jesus, played by Ray Allen, to sign with Big State University. The film delves into their strained relationship due to Jake's strict coaching and past conflicts, including a tragic accident that led to the death of Jesus' mother. The movie beautifully explores themes of forgiveness, acceptance, and the complexities of familial sacrifice, while also examining issues of race. He's not a stranger, he's our father. I don't have a father. Look, I need to talk to you. You'll see me around. The man escaped just like Shawshank. As they navigate their troubled past and uncertain future, He Got Game is a poignant tale of personal growth and reconciliation. The Way Back they don't know what it is to fight. Who are we? Hey, 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 hey. We can't change the past, Jack. At number nine, we have the movie The Way Back. Jack, portrayed by Ben Affleck, struggles with alcoholism and grief after losing his son. He's given a chance at redemption when he's asked to coach his old high school's basketball team, with support from his assistant coach Dan and his wife Angela. Through coaching, he finds solace and a chance for a fresh start. However, as Jack faces his own demons, his job and newfound hope are put at risk. I understand you're trying to motivate the team, but we have a code of conduct. Oh, oh shit! I'm working on it. Work harder. This poignant tale portrays the journey from anguish to redemption, with Ben Affleck delivering a powerful and often overlooked performance. The film captures the transformative power of basketball and the human spirit in the face of adversity. Above the Rim Stay these motherfuckers out. Stay these motherfuckers out. Business, man. Hand me your business. At number 8, we have the movie Above the Rim. Released in 1994, this film stars Tupac Shocker as Birdie, the organizer of a street basketball tournament in Brooklyn. The story revolves around Kyle, 
the neighborhood's top basketball player. He faces a tough decision between playing for Bertie or a respected local coach who could help him secure a place in the Georgetown basketball program. With the guidance of his brother Shep, played by Leon, Kyle must navigate this pivotal choice for his future while avoiding escalating tensions with Bertie. Work the clock. If Marcos gets you blocked up, if you stop, you give it up real quick. Okay, guys? Come the film also gained fame for its soundtrack, including the iconic track Regulate by Warren G featuring Nate Dogg, which went double platinum. Coach Carter. I came to coach basketball players and you became students. I came to teach boys and you became men. This is our time! At number 7, we have the movie Coach Carter. This film, starring Samuel L. Jackson, is inspired by the true story of Ken Carter, a coach who aims to balance academics and basketball for his team. His commitment to emphasizing more than just basketball stirs controversy among school officials and certain players, despite facing external challenges. Come on, come on, come on, come on. And standing together. If one man struggles, the entire team struggles. The team eventually unites to understand the value of being versatile individuals who prioritize education alongside improving their basketball skills. Coach Carter underscores the significance of personal development and education while pursuing excellence on the court. Space Jam At number 6, we have the movie Space Jam. Three words to describe this cinematic gem, a timeless classic. The film brilliantly combines the greatest basketball player the world has ever seen with the beloved Looney Tunes characters, resulting in an absolute slam dunk of entertainment, no pun intended. The movie's unique blend of animation and real-world basketball stars, including Michael Jordan, Muggsy Bogues, and others, creates an absolute joy for kids and adults alike. So we challenge them to a basketball game. What is basketball? But didn't they show up? They're huge! It's a movie that has stood the test of time, capturing the imagination of audiences and delivering a memorable and fun-filled adventure on the court. Air Bud. At number 5, we have the movie Airbud. If you're a fan of heartwarming tales about the special bond between dogs and kids triumphing over challenges posed by adults, this movie is a must-watch. And guess what? The dog here is a basketball pro. Despite the seemingly whimsical premise, this 1997 classic delivers a touching basketball story that can evoke strong emotions. Michael Jeter portrays Snively, but he's antagonistic owner and young Josh, played by Kevin Zegers, strives to protect Buddy from him. Beyond the playful concept, I believe you got my dog. The film beautifully captures the deep affection shared between a boy and his canine companion, proving that loyalty and friendship can indeed overcome obstacles in the most unexpected ways. Love and basketball. How about a little one-on-one? -on -one? What we playing for? I score, you strip. Take it off, take it off. Oh, strip. All spam, love and basketball, baby. At number four, we have the movie Love and Basketball, a Spike Lee joint that follows the journey of two childhood friends, Monica and Quincy. Both are talented basketball players with aspirations of securing college scholarships through their skills on the court. The film uniquely examines their lives in four quarters, mirroring the structure of a basketball game, tracing their relationship from childhood into their college years and beyond. Hey, you. One game, one on one. A what? Your heart. The movie, celebrated for its storyline and soundtrack, resonates with audiences, capturing the essence of their intertwined lives, ambitions, and the complexities of love. White men can't jump. Winning and losing is all one big organic globule. I 
hate it when you talk like that. Oh, you got that big Z in your fro, man. What are you, the Black Zorro? At number three, we have the movie White Men Can't Jump, which revolves around street basketball hustlers. Wesley Snipes plays Sid, a seemingly invincible player, until Billy Woody Harrelson beats him not once, but twice. Learning that Billy and his girlfriend Gloria are also hustlers, Sid and Billy join forces to maximize their earnings. However, the partnership raises questions about their values. Drinking ass up. Give me my money. I seen you hustle. Hey, I never use no goofy white mother. Hey, who you calling goofy white mother? You, you. <laughs> The film beautifully showcases the significance of friendship and the unexpected accomplishments that can stem from a simple basketball game, all while delving into the dynamics of street basketball culture and personal relationships. Hoop Dreams At number 2, we have the movie Hoop Dreams, widely regarded as one of the finest sports documentaries. The film spotlights the journeys of William Gates and Arthur Agee, both young basketball players from Chicago. They are recruited to a predominantly white high school where they hope for a brighter future in the sport. The documentary delves deeply into their lives, shedding light on the challenges they face and the obstacles they must overcome in their pursuit of a basketball career. And we were sitting in the dark. You look around your house, you see your food getting low. But you see why half of them become game bangers and, you know, because it's, it's nothing constructed in a neighborhood form. Despite its acclaim, the film was overlooked by the Oscars, prompting the Academy to reevaluate its voting process. Even after nearly three decades, Hoop Dreams remains a powerful portrayal of the American school system and its impact on athletic aspirations. Who's ears? You put your effort and concentration into playing to your potential to be the best that you can be. I don't care what the scoreboard says at the end of the game. In my book, we're going to be winners. At number one, we have the movie Who's Ears, a timeless tale of David V.S. Goliath as a rural Indiana basketball team fights for success in the state championship. The plot revolves around the hiring of Norman Dale as a coach, causing upheaval among the small town community due to his unconventional methods. With the unexpected contribution of basketball prodigy Jimmy, the team defies odds and reaches the state title game in Indianapolis. The heartwarming story captures the coach's bond with the team, his impact on the skeptical town, and his blossoming romance. Talking about the glory days. There was people from all over the Middle West are here to witness Hoosierland's version of the Cinderella story. It's got to work out this time. Or that's it for good. The climactic scene when Jimmy utters the triumphant phrase, I'll make it, remains a stirring moment that echoes the resilience and triumph displayed throughout the film. That's it guys, if you like this video, kindly give it a thumbs up, and make sure to like and subscribe to the channel.